Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse the side angle of my camera because uh, if for some reason if I have the direct angle with the camera on top of my computer it looks like I look like Deep Throat from X-Files in the shadow so um, this is why you're getting the side angle it's better lighting but anyway I'm here to talk about um, victory or death uh, which is what this is heading down to particularly in Australia uh, this video is very Australian centric but everyone's talking about the government tyranny that's going on in Australia at the moment with the stage 4 lockdowns in, in Victoria despite um, uh, very low cases of supposed COVID-19 and uh, eight tenths of the deaths happening in aged care, and no one healthy dying, of course, of this um, scamdemic. And uh, just like we've seen the recent CDC figures in America of only nine thousand people uh, dying of COVID, I doubt there's probably any real. COVID deaths in Australia and despite that in my state of Victoria we're in stage 4 lockdowns we are stuck in our homes 23 hours a day and, and are only allowed to exercise for one hour a day and we've got um, 5am to 8pm curfews supermax prisoners get uh, more rights than we're getting at the moment and just recently a page called Rise Up Australia which was discussing the um, tyrannical uh, policies of the government and the closing down of businesses and the mass suicides as a result of people losing their jobs and their livelihoods has been shut down by Facebook because they don't want you to know the real cost of a scandemic like this, which is um, economic depression and mass suicides. And you'll never, you'll never hear about the real figures. Um, I can tell you right now, the amount of people dying of suicide could be as much up to 20 times as the amount of people supposedly dying of COVID, although when our dictator, Premier Daniel Andrews, goes goes up to his press conference and talks about the COVID deaths and the coronavirus cases, he doesn't, he doesn't talk about suicides, does he? Because he doesn't want you to know the real problem, the real cause of death that this scamdemic is providing. I can tell you right now, I've no, we've known of some people that have known four or five people that have committed suicide, and the figures will be astronomical. Uh, to tell you the length that Facebook is going to, to keep, to, let, to, from letting people know the real cost of these lockdowns and this scamdemic. Um, Tobin Brothers came out, which is a, um, a funeral directors here in Australia, and they were saying their, their funeral homes were piling up um, with uh, suicides and the funeral homes were coming out and saying that, which is the truth direct from the horse's mouth. And Facebook, of course, was shutting it down. Because, hey, we have to keep this bullshit narrative going about COVID, uh, a disease that's so dangerous that it kills 0.0004% of people, and we can't 
let people know the real causes of death, which is a skip symptom of this scamdemic, which is suicides. But I'm here to tell you the good news. My, my problem with the millennial generation is it never had a real test, really something for the, to fight for. And now, ladies and gentlemen, there's uh, our civilization as we know it to fight for against government tyranny. If, if citizens all around the world stand up and wake up like they've done in Berlin, like they've done in London, and like they will, like I'm hoping that they'll do again um, in Australia against uh, tyrannical governments. This generation could be the generation that s saved a, a civilization, not ne not necessarily Western civilization, because Western civilization, Mark One as we know it, is gone. It's gone, but we can create a better civilization, and we either rise up, discover humanity, discover our rights and discover our liberties, and take on this tyrannical government, and realize we've got the power and take the power away from them, or we die a slow, painful death. It's up to you, ladies and gentlemen, but it's time to rise up, world. I'm ready. Are you? That's all, ladies and gentlemen.